Hey guys, it's Mo. So today I have another planner related DIY for you using the Cricut Design Space. We are going to make planner dividers. They're going to be personal size planner dividers because I have that size fresh in my head here. So first we're going to open a new uh, canvas, a new project in Cricut Design Space. So we're going to insert a shape, insert a square. Under the layers pane here, we're going to go to edit and unlock the proportions and set it to 3.75 in width and 6.75 in height. This gives you approximately the size of a personal size page. Then next, we're going to go to insert images and I'm going to type in some generic terms, rounded corner to find an image that has a rounded corner. I'm also going to filter by Cricut Access so I can get all the things that are part of my uh, monthly subscription. I'm just going to click this because it's the first thing that shows up with a rounded corner and we're going to select insert images. I'm going to right click it and ungroup and then I'm going to take this yellow frame and delete it because we do not need it. Now we need to decide how many dividers we want in our planner. I normally go with six, so I'm going to take the height, which is 6.75, and divide it by the number of dividers, 6.75, divided by six dividers is 1.125. So this square in height needs to be 1.125, and that is going to be part of our first divider. So I'm going to right click and move this to back so I can get an idea of how far I want my divider tab to stick out. You don't want it to stick out crazy far because it still needs to fit within your planner. So just use a visual judgment here and line it up how you think it should go. Then we're gonna right click and copy and then paste six of these uh, squares that are gonna turn out to be our tabs. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six rectangles, rectangles, squares that are light gray that are going to be our tabs. I'm going to select this dark gray rectangle and right click and bring it to the front. So all the things that are going to be our tabs are now behind it. So it gets a better visual reference of what's going on. Um, we're going to take this first rectangle. I don't know why I keep calling them rectangles. This first square here. I'm going to move it in a little bit and we're going to hold down the shift key and also select the dark gray rectangle. We're going to go to a line and a line top and that's going to bring the top line of the uh, light gray square flush with the top line of the dark gray rectangle. We're going to do the same thing. Um, we're going to click on the uh, light gray square, I don't know what my problem with words is today, and click on the dark gray rectangle so both are selected. Then we're going to go align bottom under the align tab here and that will make this square and rectangle flush down here. So next we're going to select all of the gray squares and then align them to the left. That way they stick out equally as much as this top tab that we've already visually decided is what we want to do. So I'm going to select all of these gray uh, squares again, go to align and go to distribute vertically. If your distribute vertically does not work, try saving your project and then going align distribute vertically and that usually fixes it. For some reason, I cannot get my distribute vertically to work correctly, but what that should do is distribute all of these evenly across the vertical axis. Axis, axis. So you shouldn't have um, any gaps that don't appear even. My dog just jumped up on the back of my chair. What are you doing? Anyway, so now we want to select this dark gray rectangle, right click it and select copy. We want to keep this on our clipboard. We don't want to select anything else or copy anything else. I mean, um, now that we have that copy to the clipboard. So we're going to select the gray square, hold the shift key down and select that first gray, light gray rectangle that we have decided is our first tab. Then we're gonna go over to the layers pane and we're gonna select weld. That's gonna create our first welded shape, which is the first tab. Now, right click, paste, 
that gray rectangle back onto your canvas while holding down the shift key you also want to select the first tab we just made and align the top and align the left that way we're back in that same sort of situation we just had we're going to click on this first tab that's going to bring it up over here under welded image and we are going to hide it by clicking on the eyeball if you click the eyeball it disappears we're going to select the next gray light gray square hold down the shift key and select the dark gray rectangle under the layers pane we're going to go to weld and create another shape we're going to right click paste Bring up that uh, dark gray rectangle again, hold down your shift key, click on the light gray uh, shape, the welded image we just created, align the top and align the left. Click on the tab you just created under welded image and hide it. Now we're going to repeat that light gray square, shift key, dark gray rectangle. Under the layers pane, select weld. And we're going to repeat that for all tabs. And now from the layers pane, I can unclick all these eyeballs with the slashes and I can see all the dividers that I made. Um, there are some other images down here because I am working from another canvas, but these are all the dividers that I just made. This is a template to use. I have not spent the time to figure out how to cut out the holes as well. Um, you could measure and test and cut and, you know, try all those kinds of things out. Um, I just haven't had the time to figure that out. But this is a base template. So now I'm going to move on to actually showing you how to uh, use this template to cut um, scrapbook paper or whatever you want to use for your dividers out with the Cricut. Okay, so now that we have our divider template made, I have my Cricut right here. I'm going to show you what I do for this. Um, so the uh, material that I really like to use for making dividers are these like project folder things from the Target Dollar Spot. I think they're really, really helpful um, because it cuts out the laminating step that you might need to do for your dividers. Um, you can laminate them. You can cut laminated paper with the Cricut using the post reward setting, which I'll do today, um, or that's the setting I'm going to use today. Um, but I think it's just, it cuts out the laminating part, so you can just use these. So um, what we're going to do is, I have six dividers. Usually what I do is I choose three patterns. These are just some um, old file folder things that I have laying around that I'm going to use. So this first one is going to be the first and the fourth divider then this one is going to be the second and the fifth divider and then this one is going to be the third and the sixth divider so i'm just going to lay them on my mats and get prepped and i'll be back okay so we're going to cut the first and the third divider here or the first and the fourth divider so i'm just going to go through my uh, layers pane over here and hide every divider except for the first and the fourth. So those are those two, and we're going to use this one to cut the first and the fourth divider. So we're going to hit go, and it's going to bring up the two on one mat. So we can just hit go again. The setting that I use, which is going to bring up here in a second, is the poster board setting. Um, it doesn't go through, it doesn't do a double cut. It only cuts once, but it's thick enough using the standard blade to um, cut through this laminated sort of paper. So we're just going to load. And my mats have lost a little bit of their sticky so that I have washi tape holding down the material here. And then we'll just hit the flashing Cricut button and it's going to cut out the fourth and the first divider. Now we can unload and pull our project from the, whoops, the divider, not the divider, the mat there. And so we have the first and the fourth divider. Then we're going to click on finish and using the layers pane again we're going to find the fifth divider 
and the second divider, which is not that one. There we go. And hide every one but the second and the fifth divider. And we'll hit go. Brings up those two on the canvas here on the mat. We're going to load our second color media. A little bit of the washi tape on the top and now we have the second and the fifth divider and we can match them up here with the other ones we made then we're going to hit finish and cut our last two dividers which are the last one and the third one go go these two cut out now And now we have all six of our dividers cut out. I use my personal size hole punch to just hole punch each of these. Um, you could use a single hole punch or you could take the time to do a little bit of testing and your Cricut can definitely cut out circles. I just haven't taken the time to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Uh, click around, subscribe, look at all my other Cricut and Planner videos. I would love for you to stay around for a while. If this did help you, let me know. Let me know what other kind of Cricut Planner related videos you want to see. And I will talk to you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.